Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to present to you and formally introduce Bob, Koss, and Arthur, the Play No Games Podcast. It's your favorite podcast. When we talk about real life and exchange a few laughs, we stick into our path. When you find understanding, just know that that will never last. We ain't here to play no games. The world is getting What's crazy, crazy and now we know we it gotta is be Courtney Rob back here again with our latest installment of the Play No Games podcast. And to my left, I have. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Austere Andrew. RJ. And we got a special episode for y'all, but um <laughs> with that special episode, um it's still a little bit regular. Um if you like what we're doing, like, comment, subscribe, put that at the bottom. Um and I'll just say this really quick, you know, since we don't have the guys here, we have one guy. Hold up. What? I don't know what I am, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, what's RJ? Oh, you said we have one guy. Yeah. Okay, let me finish. I'm going to cut that out. We have one guy. So, if you donate $100. Whoa, just 100 150 There we go. <laughs> Legs. Woo! If you donate hundred fifty, find these on Feet Finders. <laughs> exactly. You, you can go on a date with my main man. Now, we're going to get right into it. I'll kick your butt at Putt-Putt Golf. Y'all hear that? Putt-Putt. So, um, let's, get, let's just jump straight into it. Um, our favorite segment, what are you playing no games about? And we'll start with Andrew. What are you playing no games about? Uh, can I popcorn this over to you? I don't know the rules of play no games. Fair enough. Play no games is a is a, um <laughs> He's been on the podcast before. <laughs> I don't segment. know the rules. <laughs> play no it's so a, confusing. It's a segment where you just say how you feel about Ask your day. Um, positive, negative. Just say what are you play no games about. What are you play no games about, Andrew? <laughs> oh, we're actually doing me. Yeah, we're doing yes. you. Oh. Maybe. Oh no pressure. This is uh I think I think our first take doing this. Um possibly. We're not we're not two take bobs here. Yeah, no. One takes. One take. Yep. I'm Cartier. Two take. I'm austere. That's fair. What are you playing on games about austere? I think you hit this a couple weeks ago. I think. Maybe? I don't I don't know. Was it? Maybe. Okay. Was I here a couple weeks ago? Was it? Maybe no, no, no. You talked about mental health. Okay. It's May. It's Mental Health Month. I, I just want to say, like, take care of it. Take it seriously. If you're feeling off, there's help out there. I don't know. I don't respect I, I, that. I, I just. I don't know. I respect that you say that. I, uh, you know, I'm a big person when it comes to awareness and everything else between that. Um, but when I just say like mental health is every day i think we at least in american culture we don't take that very seriously like it's the whole like i don't know how you guys grew up i will have a better idea it's um you pick yourself up by the bootstraps and like we get into this grind mentality um and i always say you have to grind with the purpose and that purpose has to have a few rest stops i i I will say like a little bit like i hate that a lot of it's kind of trivialized and kind of maybe um, lessened, yeah. Like like where people are like, do you actually struggle with that kind of stuff? Yeah. Um. So that that part that part I respect it. I respect um, it. I don't want to say what you guys know, but like, yeah, yeah. In due time. In due time. Hey, you know, we all talk about our, our own journeys, you know, in due time. Who knows? You might be comfortable enough to share. We all have mental health. No one in this room cannot tell me they don't have mental health, not, not even my own self. We all have. I've, one of my things, I think everyone deserves an autobiography about their life. 
don't That's think you true. have to be like super special. Mine's already out there. It's called Doug. <laughs> or Charlie Brown. <laughs> you look like Doug Loki. I got pork chop. I married Pat Patty Manis. Yeah. It's a skeeter. <laughs> and I'm insulted. <laughs> I mean, but it's fair. Well, since I'm, you know what I'm playing on no games about? Um, I'm playing on no games about um, taking your victory laps. Um, I just kind of like piggybacking off what you were talking about, Andrew, just a little bit about like uh, mental health and things like that. I, I don't think we don't know how much wears on us. And I think after I did my exam and things of that manner, I just understood just a little bit about like how much I was on almost to like the next thing. And even though I was just saying off or off the, off the camera, I was like, Oh, if I didn't take Saturday off and like mm-hmm. Sunday off, I would have been like ahead even though future Robert did not like his incisions. Right. I'm glad I did take that time to just like really like center myself on human accomplishments. Like we How do you do that? Huh? How do you do that? What do you mean? How do you personally do that? Like take a break? Yeah, like like what do you do? What do you do to kind of like recenter yourself or I appreciate that. I would say find for your me, accomplishments, I guess. I think for me, I really I know it's very cliche. I really like sat with myself and I really thought about all the energy I expended to get to like this plateau or to get to this place. Cause I always, cause I had to catch myself. It was like onto the next thing of like, gotta edit this, gotta do that. And I just really saw, um, the effect it had on my life and just, just gratitude to the journey that I was been on. So I just want to say taking that victory lap because whether it's medium, small, or large, it shouldn't take the Nobel Peace Prize for you to like see that you do good enough. Oh, yeah. Sure. Take your victory laps, people. Right. I'm playing no games about the biggest beef out there right now. You heard about Kendrick and Drake, I think it is, right? Am, am I saying that <laughs> wrong? Is that is that the beef right now? Well, guess what? It's Tay Ford. And Andrew, <laughs> behind the scenes, we see it is the hottest beef, the spiciest beef. That yeah, we can get. it is. <laughs> Have you seen this? It's beef. Yes. It's you like, know, I I don't think it's really a beef because usually I consider it a beef when it's like the person's on like equal playing ground. But like, I feel oh. like I'm punching down. <laughs> it's it's a fight or it's a war. <laughs> he may not watch this episode. Are you ready to handle the ramifications of? What you're saying? I'll send him an apology letter. It's fine. Okay. I said, I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. No. I never meant to make you cry. This is a reference I don't get. Wow, really? You don't know Eminem? Who? Eminem? Um, Oh, no. Actually, no. (laughs) Marshall Mathers. No. Fair enough. Not my jam. Slim Shady. RJ, thank you for bringing that up. Because they've been like low key, like it's it's some entertainment here, but I know you know it's like you could you could make a documentary about that. You could make a documentary behind the scenes, play no games. You could see that beef between Andrew and Tay. Watch out, Tay! People are gonna have to take sides at some point. I don't know what's gonna happen when Andrew and I kick Tay's butt and then run away. (laughs) 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 Just because I have to side with Andrew. I'm gonna be honest. I'm the villain here. So I I so I, I actually have to agree you are the villain. So people are gonna be signing with Tay, which is okay. Like But I'm the I'm the villain. Well and in this story, the villain wins. <laughs> Speaking of other villainry, is um I wanna just transition to just a conversation because today we're just gonna have a pretty quick interlude. But we have backseat critics with us, also some of the producers of the Play No Games podcast, to just like Ancho. Ancho. To just reflect and then talk about one topic and call it a day. And one of the things we kinda like just talked about to reflect about is respectively our channels are like low key growing. And it's almost kinda like 
I feel like every like four to three months we've had this conversation and I'm just curious, what have you like speaking of gratitude and taking like a victory lap, we're content creators. We're big, medium or small, like we're doing it. And I'm just curious, like what growth have y'all seen since the last time we've done this to, on your own perspective channels, play no game. You're, you're a part of both. I'm just curious where like, where can y'all show some gratitude for like the growth in Andrew toot that horn content creation. You know, I I'm super excited that we're, that we're seeing a growth, um, just in, and, and weekly downloads and listens to our podcast to views on YouTube. Um, we broke a recent record for us personally, as far as like video shorts, uh, completely organic growth, which was huge win for us. Um, so, you know, thanks to all of you guys for watching uh, us be stupid and uh, and listen to our, our opinions. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's awesome. I'm, I'm happy to see, like, we broke, for us, we broke two records within the last month um, as far as, like, downloads and views go, which is super exciting. Super exciting. So can't wait to see what comes. We got, I think, one of the biggest milestones. We took a break and we came back. After we came back, we came back to 81 new followers on Instagram. Speak more to that, please. Yeah, we did. We had a little break there and we just we had some life life things going on, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. And uh, we came back, we, we took a little break, and we, we pushed out Plan of the Apes, and all of a sudden we got... I think that was the episode that we that we broke some records on. Um, uh, I think we day one in the first twenty four hours were double our typical like downloads, uh, which was fantastic. Um, it's like they're waiting, and then for a bad review, and then the 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 short. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, it is. Uh, everyone knows about Planet of the Apes and knows how bad that movie is. I don't. I don't think anyone's listening in to for an honest opinion of Planet of the Apes. I'm. I think they're listening in for the shenanigans. Mark Jokes. Wahlberg. No one listens for Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> I do. Are you guys gonna watch the new Planet of the Apes? Uh I need to watch the whole series from the start. I've I've seen the first. Yeah. One and a half. I've seen. I've seen the th- three of them. There's three of them now. Yeah, I think so. I, I think I've seen all of them. I don't remember much about them. Looks like it's in the Planet of the Apes Marathon coming soon. Wait a second. No monkey business. Ugh. Horrible comedic timing. Um, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious with you guys. Um, individually, what has kept y'all creating? I'm curious. What has kept that, that fire? Because... Some people would stop, but you guys haven't stopped. RJ, you go first. Yeah. Mine's um, going to be a little bit more. I, I guess. I guess uh, it, it's a two-pronged thing for me. First is I just like seeing numbers go up, like a statistical thing, you know? So I like seeing the stats and averages go up as a as an athlete. That's just kind of my my thing I like seeing. Um, secondly, I it's kind of a relaxing time where I get to hang out with my best friend. And watch a movie. He's talking about whenever we have guests. Yeah, exactly. And um, you know, watch a movie. How terrible the movie might be. We'll, we'll watch it. We'll review it, and then you know, have have a little goofiness on a little recording and call it a good day. RJ, I really appreciate you saying that. Um, if I'm being honest with you, where because you know, um, I think as we kind of like grind, I just want to say I appreciate the hustle, man. I really do because a lot of people could just like really stop and I guess when you kind of like talk about content creation um, it's a big thing so I hopefully this episode you you know you both feel you know celebrated because you know, you're both doing dope stuff and you know let's just say very like in thin in the in the uh, Backstreet Critic realm like thin creative credit just put me down there 
like if I when I have more time, as you both saw me in that chair, I have lots of creative ideas for you guys to do that I think you both would just knock out of the park. Appreciate it, yeah. Which kind of like brings me to just a little bit too, of like we're like we're at with play no games and things like that, where I showed you like we're like people are waking up each day, watching <laughs> and looking at our content. Y'all's background bullshit and whoa, like, whoa, whoa, whoa! We're giving an honest review back there. Yeah, what are you talking about? Huh? I'm just I'm just saying where it's kind of like for me waking up and like. I've switched up a little bit. I'm a little less focused about the numbers. Like I think for me where I'm at, as long as one person views and just like for me, I know Andrew, you may feel comfortable talking about this or not, but like I'm seeing the retention go up for like videos and like people really staying to watch and like me, somebody's like, Oh, I can't wait for the next clip. And like that kind of like, is like getting me like somebody is, I, is enjoying it. We, we, we are getting that like, some more comments, some more like interactions that way. And so like, I, I do love seeing that. I love seeing that kind of like somebody cares enough to actually comment and take the time and like have that conversation, whether or not they agree with our take or not, like that doesn't matter. Um, that's not why I'm doing this, but I mean, I'm everybody happy. has their opinion, but like you're allowed to like a movie. You're allowed to not like a movie. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, no, I just love having that like kind of conversation with people. Um, you know, I would say for me, because I kind of want to keep today a bit short, like interlude, like check in with us. Where I just want to say I don't appreciate it to you know everyone here who does and does um, a lot of like the creation because like we have value, and I think since we've been like really like talking a little bit more about things we have to do differently it's really like working out and it's just like how do we like get into this machine mode so i think for me at least how i want to leave off on this so we can talk about our very first topic and cut for today's episode is um i want just so you guys can be on the lookout relationship dynamics is going to be is going to be back um we have some couples who are going to be on we have um we have a new intro by a wonderful talented singer going to drop and some wonderful graphics coming coming to a foot. And we have some dope guests. I'm doing the singing. He's doing the graphics. Stick figures. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying is we... Fire. All I'm saying is when it comes to play no games and when it comes to um, relationship dynamics, we have a lot of dope stuff coming out for you. We have some lot of interesting guests, a songwriter that potentially wrote for a very famous artist that's going to be coming on. We have a black doctor coming on. We have um, potentially overseas phenomenon coming on. Like we got some really dope things coming through the pipeline. So please stay tuned. You don't have anything. What's the first topic? Uh, okay. Wait a second. Are you transitioning? Like a- I just transitioned. Did you just transition? Man, my my knee jerk was to go back. Huh? Go my back. knee jerk was to go back a sec. Okay, hold on. Do you want to go one back? One. No. Well, because you said what keeps you creating. What keeps you creating? Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah. We we did RJ. What keeps you going? I, okay. I would say one thing that keeps me creating is seeing. Um, I hate to be gimmicky. It's just the value that you add to people because I think for me um, I, we just live in a world where I, I believe we should laugh more learn more and just be in more relationships and just seeing that there is a space for that makes me want to create because I always thought that there was a person who didn't understand what, I, what I'm trying to do and there's actually more people that I'm thinking that, that do understand so I think for me that's why I create someone's looking for it. And I just enjoy it because I'm going to be honest with you, I always thought I wasn't really a creative individual. Right. And I've come to find out I actually really am. And I really wish I would have done that a little bit differently in school. Yeah. I think it's something that like a lot of people just don't value or don't recognize either in themselves or other people. Mm -hmm. And yeah, 
putting yourself in that situation is a great way to find out. Yeah. Uh, you know, trial by fire. Like, don't get me wrong. This is work. This is definitely work. But, like, at the end of the so day. So creating. Exactly. Like, so. I can go to my grave happy that, oh, I did this. Yeah. And this is like a living biography. I mean, I think the difference between, like, this isn't really, like, a brag, I guess, but between us, other podcasts, other content creators, and just other people is, like, everyone's creative in their own way. And there's, like, creative freedom where you just whatever but then there's like creative focus where you're like this is what i'm doing i'm taking whatever i'm being creative about uh whatever my skill set are is whether it's you know therapy talking to people talking about relationships sports hot topics whatever it is you do um (laughs) and like focusing that on on one kind of outlet and i don't know i think that's kind of what we did yeah I I don't just mean I don't mean us necessarily, but you as well. I wasn't really a brag, but that's just please humbly is, brag about us. We're I wasn't a humble brag. That was just stating what we going what what he's saying is we're gonna be the best media company because we going we gonna have fucking topics he's speaking and subjects on his own behalf. This that, is not representative. That, that y'all don't even know. We're gonna have all the say. stuff. The backseat critics do not endorse this. <laughs> we gonna have we're gonna have floor two backseat critics, floor three, taste movies, and we're gonna have four four Casas wrestling finanza. Taze movies? Yeah Tay wants movies? to today wants to direct movies. Oh we gotta talk more about this. Skin and Max or like <laughs> Anywho, because this guy started it and he's gonna finish it. Let's end on our very first topic. Wait, wait. You got this. Have a long way. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's our what's our final topic of the day, <laughs> Back to our slots now. <laughs> You ever seen South Park? <laughs> I'll do it. I got okay. it. No, 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 no. Got we got it. it. We got it. Are you sure? Yeah, we got it. We'll be I'll serious. I'll do it. No, Apple's no, new back chat off. GPT back off. Deal. Here's what it means for iPhone Give security. Me Give me this. Dude, that's horrible. So Apple is in talks with uh, OpenAI. Thank you. Who owns ChatGPT to uh, buy them out or at least license part of their, their product for um, Apple because AI is taken off. Um, in a lot of ways, Microsoft's now embedded it into Windows 11. Get rid of that garbage, Microsoft. Please, I beg you. I don't care if you have it embedded in the taskbar. <laughs> I'm getting rid of that crap. Um, you know, uh, Facebook, Instagram, they've all got the little AI kind of tag, like common questions, common comments, or whatever to kind of automate that. And Apple's jumping on that. And it's very similar to how they kind of license the search from um, Google. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's just kind of the, the lay of it. I'm not, I'll share my opinion maybe a little bit later, but go for it. So I think for me, uh, when it comes to the reason why I kind of want to talk with you guys is like, we're starting to see this, even though you guys are far leaps and bounds when it comes to audio visuals and just the editing in general. When you said that for me, it was like another daunting thing because I agree, even though I'm not on Facebook that much, it's just like, oh, AI Chelsea, AI Terry. And I was kind of like, what the, f- this is so much shit. And I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the mic's picking up? You hearing that? that? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Keep it. Help the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, I, the reason I'm bringing this up is. Do you think with all this AI, and especially because everyone's so elitist with iPhones versus Android, do you think adding Chat GBT, <laughs> you think adding Chat GBT is actually gonna actually enhance the Siri function? Like, do you actually think like them collaborating will actually make AI more serious? No, not even in the audio world. I think it just makes AI more dangerous. Damn, really? Yeah, I think it makes it more dangerous. I just think each time you give AI something, it makes it more dangerous. Okay, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. <laughs> this, this is like, y'all remember when like Independence Day when the Martians, all that other stuff, or like Martians attack? He's a long-haired white dude. 
Sure. Sure. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me soda. I feel like this is a step one of just think how many people have iPhones. And if you get comfortable with chat GPT on your iPhone. Uh, you don't think Google's got AI on their phone? They just released, or Samsung just released it with AI. Really? Yeah. Samsung yeah, has AI on Google's their phone now. Google's been working with it for, I think, several years. Damn. Yeah iPhone's a little behind on the game on this one, but really, yeah, damn, I thought it was really cool pulling this one. I felt like a freaking genius. I was like, no, wow. it's 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 actually a good it's actually a good pull because it's a good topic. Yeah, in my yeah, opinion, and but. overall, it's just a good topic right now. I think. I'll yeah. Aw, no, you're good. You're good. We so got this. The better question I kind of want to ask. <laughs> the better question <laughs> so I want to ask. <laughs> I know. I just, so, I, I just kept, <laughs> it's so like. Way to go, Rob. We believe in you. You did a great job. No, I'm mocking him. I, I, I'm mocking him. I'm in him. support of you. Does the finger fit? You flipped me off. It's there. You and, went all the way over. Went, well, over I wanted to catch the side of Andrew's, not Andrew's, RJ's side, sideburns. I'm so sorry if he flipped you off. I'm not apologizing. I have a I'm question. I'm sorry you got in the way. If there was I'm AI, sorry. I didn't get it. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> never. Well, how did how's Conor McGregor say it? I apologize for absolutely nothing. That's the one apology that I'm giving you today. Thank you, RJ. <laughs> I'm curious when it comes to like AI and just your world of um, of sound and editing and soundboards. On honest to God, do you think it would be a help having it more accessible? I think as of right now, yes. But in the future, I could see it somehow morphing into just doing it on its own. Doing what on its own? Editing on its own. Yeah, you just plug it in and be like, edit this to this volume or it sound like this. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, just like the art right now, you can say, please draw me Bart Simpson in, I don't know, the real world. And you can get those easily right now, right? So I think it is eventually you can please, like, you can say edit this sound into this. I mean, have you not seen those phone call? Actually, thieves are using AI out there right now to scam people. They take your voice, they put it out there, they use AI to change it into whatever they need to, and now they now you can get somebody's credit card or try to check them, saying Rob, like they can call your mom, say this is Rob. Yeah, I've heard of those. Exactly. So I think that it's just eventually AI. You're going to be able to plug it in after editing and. That job's going to be non-existent eventually. Do you think, and my, I guess my question to you is, I want to be as honest as possible. Do you think with your trained ear that you'll be able to catch AI edited sound versus someone who's actually taking the time listening to it? Do you think you'll be able to catch it? At first, but eventually it's going to get better. Just as like, when you look at the art itself in the beginning. Did oh, you listen to our last podcast? I listened to all, our last podcast? Yeah. I have not yet. Yeah, I'm just saying, give it a listen. <laughs> I think he's using AI. Uh, he's trying to replace you. Huh? I don't edit our sound. No, actually, I, I do. I do all the sound stuff on. You just click, yeah. click, goes. No, actually, I sometimes. So, so because the the platform where we host um, does offer audio mastering via AI, I gave it a shot this last episode. So, so I I, I usually master cut. To do all of the the EQing, all of the, the edits after the this last episode, the yeah. the platform that we host on does offer AI mastering. Mm. Thought I would give it a shot. Yeah, I think it's fine. I don't think it's any better. I, I think it alone is worse than what what I've done. So. So like I like I feel like I do a better job like with mastering with it, with editing this last episode it did a fine job. I think it's a good resource for people who don't have the tools, don't have the experience that that I have that that RJ has for the people who don't have the ear for something just to like get by to get their content out to a wider audience who might not know what to like look for in certain things. Um, is it something I'm going to really continue to use? No. It, it takes me, you know, 10 minutes to to edit and to master our audio. So, no, there's no reason for me to 
like pass that off onto to AI. Um, I think Apple taking um, uh, in talks with open AI, I think is, is interesting given all of the kind of ethical questions about privacy um, oh. with, with AI. And one of the main things with Apple is they pride themselves. I'm, I'm an iPhone user. I used to be a dedicated uh, Android user. Um, and I had problems with Google and privacy issues and also just like their serial killing of all of their websites. But <laughs> Okay. Um, other thing. But, um, but this is, I think, just like... Uh, Apple, who prides themselves on privacy, just kind of passing the buck onto a different company to be like, hey, you guys catch us up in this one thing that we're kind of shortcoming. That's kind of the big thing right now, which is obviously AI. They catch us up there and do whatever you want with privacy. We have no hand in that. So whenever people come to us about privacy concerns with AI, we can be like, no, that was open AI. That wasn't us. I, I think this is just an example of that. The fall guy. It's, I, I honestly think that's what it is. It's it's a way of keeping their hands clean. This might be same, the clip. Same with um, their search. It's it's Google. Um, any sort of questionable stuff that comes up in search, they get a benefit off the data. They get a benefit off of um, data that Google provides them. But all those privacy concerns, they could be like, hey, our hands are clean. We're the privacy masters here. Google did that. So I that's that's my opinion. Is it's just it's a way for them to stay relevant and up to date. Not that they're irrelevant, but it's it's a way for them to keep their hands clean. All right. Well <laughs> it's I thank you for that. I I'll just say this to wrap things up for us today. I guess the reason why I like really like I like that things are becoming accessible for almost anyone because like almost lots of people like right now literally we I blink ten people just made a YouTube channel I'm blinked again ten more podcasts oh my gosh I like the accessibility but I think sometimes when we try to make things fast and more accessible we kind of lose the creativity and like it's almost kind of like now like being famous and all this other stuff it's more like i think cost was saying in the last episode this person's famous for just existing rather than like honing and like building their talent someone from someone who's worked on trying to be a better audio engineer visualizer it's kind of like it's such a dope skill just to have because i even put that in my line of work now like i am now doing <laughs> that like that stuff like yeah. learning it so but you know um I want to say thanks, Backseat Credits. Y'all are awesome. If y'all don't know, now you know one of the best movie reviewing podcasts out there. It's the best kept secret in Portland, so let's not make it a secret. Find us on Feet Finder. That as well. And this has been an interlude episode with Backseat Critics and the Play No Games. And if you like what we're doing, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> And we're out. <laughs> Probably wonder if I think of you. Sorry, I'm for the bag right now. Yeah, I'm for the bag right now. Yeah, for the bag that I never had. Yeah, you probably mad right now. Yeah, I got a two piece now. Shit, I think they call them groupies now. <laughs>